This is 7 National News making headlines. GCC foreign ministers hold meeting in Abu Dhabi. Industry experts gather at 13th WeTech exhibition in Dubai. And women across the globe celebrate International Women's Day. And in our top story, foreign ministers of the GCC held the 118th session of its ministerial council under the chairmanship of His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan, foreign minister of the UAE. Secretary General of the GCC, Abdurrahman bin Hamad Al Atiyah, took part in the meeting in the Emirates Palace. In his opening speech, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah said the agenda of the meeting is full of vital issues that receive the interest of the leaders and people of the Gulf Arab states. He added that the current circumstances in the region require unified efforts. Think Green, Live Green is one of the mottos behind the 13th edition of the Water, Energy and Environment Technologies Exhibition, which was officially opened today under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Rashid Al Maktoum. Attending as well, His Highness Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai. WeTex is bringing together industry experts from both the UAE and abroad to focus solely on the saving and preserving of water, energy and the environment. Officials from the Dubai Electricity and Water Authority stress the importance of energy and water efficient technologies in the quest for a greener future. The main thing is we have to change behaviour and we have to educate people. And there are many initiatives from uh, the Supreme Council of, of uh, energy in Dubai and many initiatives also from uh, DIWA also. And uh, you've seen, if you visited the stand of DIWA, you see there are many initiatives. We are going even to visit the customer to do more awareness and uh, try to put more programs in TV in different language. I think this is most important for us. A panel of experts at a forum organized by the Dubai School of Government say while global power and influence shifts to the east, GCC countries face the challenge of building new strategic and economic ties that take into account the rise of countries such as India and China. With most economies now moving towards a post-recession environment, it is time to learn and benefit from one another. Marjorie Krauss, a specialist in providing strategic counsel and issue-based communication, crisis management, market entry, and corporate reputation, says now is an opportune time for the GCC to look at further developing economic ties with Asian countries. With a third of the world's population just 400 miles away, she says Dubai and the UAE are strategically placed and have an important role to play. It's about how the UAE can be used, or the Gulf, the GCC, used as um, a transfer point for commerce and how that can be expanded and how those opportunities can be taken advantage of, not just by Chinese or Indian companies or Gulf region companies, but also by Western companies coming through here and trying to add value to the normal business they're doing. So I think it's, it's not just bilateral things. I think it's really the whole change of the way commerce is done in the world. That's the big opportunity. Despite its big population, India, China, as well as other countries in the Far East have been experiencing a steady rise in recent years, one that the GCC can easily achieve, according to the panelists. GCC countries are dependent on basically one product, that is petroleum. And their population is small. So if you have, if you bring in other countries, other economies into it, then you will have the economies of scale. So you'll have a huge market in India, you have a huge market in China or in ASEAN. And equally, they will invest capital or technology and it can be beneficial for both sides. While the current situation in the region may prove to be a deterrent to many investors, experts say Dubai and the UAE are in a good position to turn this challenge into an opportunity. The more international you are, the better. How did China develop? They trained their people, they invested in education. At the same time, they attracted foreign investment and they offered opportunities for foreign investors to make money. The more connected you are to the global economy and manufacturing and services and knowledge economy in addition to the natural resources, that's, that's the, kind of the formula for success. 
This is my first visit, but after 24 years in China, to come here and see these new high-rises and, and just the planning and thinking behind what's going on and, the, and also the openness and inviting in talent from all over the world, um, this is, I think, China could learn a little bit from Dubai right now. Businessmen, analysts and other industry leaders enthusiastically joined in the discussion of possible scenarios on how to push forward relationships in a challenged climate. It is hoped that forums such as these spearheaded by the Dubai School of Government will facilitate an exchange of ideas and promote critical debate vital to developing good governance. Khadija Sali, 7 National News. The General Department of Fujairah Police have launched a campaign against cyber fraud. Organized in collaboration with the Dipa Fujairah Police, the three-day long drive comes as a result of the growing number of cyber crimes and aims to warn community members of such scams and advise them not to respond to any unusual SMS or calls. The drive is also focusing on major false businesses and especially phone hoaxes as they are among the most complicated. Officials have called on the cooperation of community members to terminate the problem. The Abu Dhabi Education Council has confirmed that all villa schools in the capital will be closed and relocated to appropriate purpose-built school facilities by 2013. The decision comes in line with ADEC's strategy to improve the private education sector and ensure the availability of a safe and healthy environment for all students in private schools. Yusuf al Shiriani, ADEC's Private School and Quality Assurance Executive Director, said that the council is keen to continuously monitor all private schools and make sure they meet the standards and criteria. Due to the lack of evacuation procedures in case of emergency or fire, Vila schools provide unsuitable learning environments with many infringements of safety and security regulations. The 100th International Women's Day is being observed and celebrated across the globe today. In the UAE, women have been continuously recognized for their efforts and contribution in the country's development. A variety of initiatives have been rolled out to highlight the important role of women in various sectors, such as the government, environment, art, culture and the community, in addition to their roles as mothers, wives, sisters and daughters, among many others. In keeping with the celebrations, we are some women about today special occasion. I am a wife, I'm a mother, I'm a poet and uh, I'm a woman who has believed in freedom and I got the freedom from my husband to do what I wanted to do and it's a great day. It's a great day all over the world I guess. I think it's been done very well and I think it's a really good starter for Dubai to have this. Um, I think there are a lot of women out there that want to contribute and need to contribute and it makes their life much fuller. I believe very you know, fully that um, women should be recognised in society. I think it's wonderful the work that you're doing to um, sort of make women sort of more um, prominent in the UAE. I think it's fantastic. And looking overseas, womanhood was celebrated across the globe as well with a variety of events. In India, women who had done outstanding work in their respective professions were awarded at a seminar called Kuchinur, which was held in northern India. Eminent personalities from all walks of life addressed the gathering of more than 300 girls. Meanwhile, in southern India, saw women also gathering to showcase their talents. And in South Korea, women danced in the streets of Seoul to mark the special day. Organizers said the event was planned to make the public aware about the day for women and encourage, encourage them to express respect and love to their mothers, wives and sisters. They also demanded more rights for women at work and in society. Bolivian authorities are threatening to remove people by force from their homes to avoid a potential disaster as a giant landslide spreads through the city of La Paz on Monday. At least 6,000 residents have already been left homeless by the mudslide. The gaping hole left its wake continues to widen and three more neighbourhoods are at risk. Residents are demanding compensation for their homes before they leave. The land is over a geologic fault discovered de decades ago and geologists have warned that a large area of the city is unstable. Authorities estimate the damage at 50 million US dollars. Food aid is being delivered to the victims but some are still without beds and tents to sleep in. A new test for Down syndrome may mean the end of a major dilemma for any pregnant woman, whether to test their unborn baby for the condition or not. 
The existing test called amniocentesis involves inserting a needle into the uterus and carries a 2% chance of causing a miscarriage. Now researchers at the Institute of Neurology and Genetics in Cyprus say they can achieve the same result from a simple blood test. Down syndrome is the most common genetic cause of learning difficulties, affecting around 1 in 700 births globally. The new test involves looking for differences in the DNA between mother and fetus. We have just announced the results of our study uh, with a new method that basically involves the collection of 10 ml blood from the mother at the 11th to 13th weeks of gestation and following um, um, a procedure that we develop uh, we can call we can say with 100% uh, certainty that uh, the fetus is normal or is a down syndrome up next linda berenger has today's business news so stay with us